study math, even if you don't want to teach. I think mathematics is probably the best place to be if you're someone who doesn't know what they want to do. So, like Tim said, my background, I have a bachelor's in math and philosophy from Bacon University, and then got my PhD at Kansas State in operations research. And then I worked for five years at Intel doing uh, resolution enhancement and specifically writing optical proximity correction algorithms. Operations research, in a nutshell, it is just using mathematics and mathematical analysis to make optimal decisions. And so you're almost always asking, how can we optimally allocate our resources? So there's a lot of you know, probability and statistics analysis, forecasting, and a lot of the systems are so large, you know, maybe say UPS, their system would be so large that probably there's just groups sitting around with really enormous simulations of their shipping system that take into account the uncertainty of the shipping. And then optimizing those things would be taking out little chunks of the decisions that they're making and saying, is there a better way to make this particular decision? And so uh, the takeaway message that I'm hoping to get to here is that I think a lot of students, and I know when I was an undergraduate, I don't feel like it was really communicated to me well enough that there's other options. And so I think a lot of students just think, I have this thing in pure math, I don't really know anything. And so I either go teach math or I go to graduate school for math. And what I would like to argue is that I think math is an excellent choice for this for your major and undergraduate especially. Um, even if that's not what you want to do when you get out. And so, why should you study math? Um, in my opinion, the primary role of mathematics in a university education is to train students to think mathematically. Very few people actually come out the end and say, I'm a mathematician. And it's that big group of other people for which I think the role of mathematics is to just teach them to think mathematically. And there's a lot of skills that are really, really valuable in the real world. Troubleshooting kinds of things. This isn't working. Here's this big black box that's not working. Can you go figure out why it's not working? These kinds of skills are really rare. And um, I feel that mathematics is the main way that we can train students to do these sorts of things. And so I would like to change the way that you students especially, when you're going to your mathematics classes, I would like to change the way that you view the end result of that. Because right now, I think you sit in the class and you think, well, I'm learning that. I'm learning how to take this particular derivative. Um, or, uh, you know, learn how to do some geometric proof. But nobody's going to ask you to prove the Pythagorean theorem in industry. Nobody will ask you to do that. But what they will ask you to do is sit down and say, here's a big problem. Can you understand the problem? Can you make some list of, like, I know these things to be true? How can I use that information that I know to be true? And I think if you think of studying mathematics in this way, instead of just, well, I don't need to know about groups. Like, whatever I do when I get out of here, it's not going to be groups. It's not going to be taking derivatives. Um, I, I think that really changes what you think you're doing when you're sitting in those classes. And so, once you decide, well, okay, I'm going to major in mathematics. I want to work in industry somehow. What, what is it that I can do? And my experience is that many entry-level positions especially, but really all positions, are open to hiring people who can learn and people who can think, and especially communication is really important. If they can learn about it, and if they can think about it, and then communicate and work in groups, then this person will be successful here long term. It really is those skills that matter. And there's tons and tons of jobs in marketing, biology, actuary, finance, stock market kinds of stuff. Tons and tons of these jobs out there. My guess is, is when you get there, you're better off knowing the math and learning the industry than you would be already knowing about the industry but not knowing the math. And I think almost all of these things, at the entry level, you can get hired into as a math major who's never had experience with these things. If you think getting a master's degree or going to graduate school is something you'd be interested in, I'm not going to discourage you. Things like operations research or marketing and economics especially, if you just have an undergrad in math, you can get into graduate school in those areas and get a master's in economics. And, you know, the, the coming up to speed on the vocabulary words of their field is actually the easy part. And for the people who think they want to get a master's degree in economics, differential equations is really the hard part. And if you can do the differential equations, the economics is the easy part. Math is more than